Hi guys. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. I got my bead box bargain monthly subscription. So I'm going to open it maybe. Maybe not. So um, this subscription is like right around $20 a month. And it's fun because okay. I give you a theme and such every month. Let's see. Today's is Peach Sorbet. If you get it, they send you a monthly code for 30% off your orders from their website. So they always send it in one of these organza bags, which I don't like. And I typically do. Okay, so we got gold findings, a meter of gold um, Cortana chain, so beading chain. Got some gold fine crimp beads. That was a bonus, it says. What are these gold ones? Um, 18 karat gold plate brass bead caps. Oh, cute, tiny little ones. Let's see, I'm gonna back this way a little bit. And then, oh, some freshwater, what do they call these? Shell pearls. They're six by 14 and they're already um, done for me. So that's nice. I don't make a lot of gold, but they send it. So I make stuff and just sell it. These are, oh, are these? Oh, these are like little dangles. Bail beads. Cool. I like those. If you, oh, that right there might hang off one. This is a strawberry quartz brass pendant. They put the prices on there. So let's see. What do they say this box is valued at? Um, tells me on the back. 84.81 is what the epox approximate total retail value for this shipment is. So that's cool. And let me see here. It says, inspired by the 2024 color of the year. This refreshing palette includes juicy peach tones, swirled with strawberry, raspberry, pinks, and an accent of cream, natural gemstones, including strawberry, cherry, quartz, hessonite garnet, rhodonite, sparkling crystals, and gold findings for an icy fruit blend. We especially love the tiny agate peach and handmade work, no, handmade lamp work, blossom beads. So let's see. Um, let me finish with the findings. So they did give us some um, steel lobster claw clasp, which is nice. I love stainless steel. Um, and they use ionization to plate it so that doesn't wear off too much. And even if it wears off and turns silver, it will, it will never turn you green. This is a brass faceted moonstone. Oh, we'll get this one out. Look at that. Peach moonstone. Peach used to be very popular in the early 2000s when I had my bead store. Uh, let's see, we got some more findings. <laughs> Excuse me, I just had to sneeze. These are stainless steel. I love stainless steel. Oh, look at those links. Those are awesome. They usually have their stainless steel in both, like the silver stainless steel and the, the plated. So I might go on and get some of those in the regular see what this is um gold plate 18 karat gold plated brass veil with a yan yon agate peach charm oh i like that look at that it has some like green enamel on the top that's pretty let's see we got i'm sorry i got sidetracked okay so these are the bonus clamshell beads these are nice um i use these whenever i not stuff. So I'll put these on and then attach a finding to them. So those are great to have. And then some tiny, well, this says freshwater shell links, but these are actually, I got an extra thing of, um, bead caps. You can always use more bead caps. Okay. So is that all the findings? Cool. So they always include, um, bicone beads. Um, and I love this color because this color goes with almost anything. They're four millimeters as always. Oh, these are the shimmer ones. 
So they have an extra um, coating that makes them beautiful. So these, I don't keep on my strands. I have a huge um, bowl jar that I just dump all mine in. I use them faster that way than if they're on strands. They're not um, precious to me that way, and I have a trouble when they seem precious. Let's see. <gasps> These are the lamp work beads. Lamp work beads are hard for me because I just don't get ideas with them, but they're blossom beads in peach. So that's what they look like. I hope this is going in right. Yep. So you get two of these. So you could use them on anything, but I will probably make earrings out of them. They're beautiful. I love them. I ha also have a um, huge container that I put all my lamp work beads in. Once again, it just is because it's a precious thing to me. These are frosted glass synthetic moonstone beads in apricot, and you got 7.5 inches, and they're $3.99 a strand. Oh, look at those. So they're like, what do they call them? They're akin to the miracle beads. I like those. I don't wear this color palette because it like matches my skin so much, but I will have fun playing with them. Those are some, probably some of my favorites. Oh, okay. So we have some check glass, I'm guessing. Glass rondelle beads, an apricot with a gold wash, and this is a 7.5 inch strand again. Um, are they loose? Okay. Now these to me do not look apricot. They have, they look more like a cream, like apricot's going to be more like that color or that color. So they're more like a cream, but I really like these and you can, and these I would use with silver findings too. So that's good. Okay. I'm trying to pick, oh, I love shell beads. Some people call them shell beads. Some people call them shell pearls. Freshwater shell rounds is all there. They're five millimeters, which is a cool size. And you get 14 and a half. These I love. This is what I use for whites in my beads when I string. And they have the iridescent kind of quality that you get with mother of pearl. So I love those. Those are wonderful. We're getting a pretty color palette here on my brown box. These are rodenite, aren't they? Yep which is awesome because in one of the hauls I did um, from Lapidary Dave, um, I have some rodenite cabochons and I want to put some beads on the sterling silver chain with them. So that'll be perfect if I use that, if I want a small one. I really like those. These are peach quartz. They're dyed, which is pretty normal. And they say they're $7, six ninety nine a strand. Oh, I didn't. And, oh, they don't say. So it's a 16-inch strand, 15 to 16, so it's just a standard. I do like those. That's a beautiful color. These aren't colors I use normally. We got some Hessonite Garnet. Hessonite Garnet is an orange garnet, and these are 3 to 4 millimeter faceted, 7.5. Oh, they're only $4.99. Guys, this is a really good deal. If you don't have any, these add a really nice punch and sparkle. They're not very expensive, obviously, and... Um, they help increase your price if you're reselling because they're garnet. Ooh, those may be my favorite. And then strawberry quartz, which cherry quartz is glass. Strawberry quartz is a, is a kind of a, um, I always call it a combination of rose quartz and like a tourmaline color. So I love these. And these are the, um, what, what are they called? They're just large chip beads. They're more, um, they're more like irregular, um, tumbles, I think. And that's one of my favorite cuts. So, I mean, actually, this is a really nice little box to make some stuff out of. Let me see. Didn't I have one more? Yeah, I did. Even though I don't use gold, I'll break these up and... I have customers that will buy them. So this is really great. Look at that. I mean, there's some pretty colors. I am not, like I said, I don't usually wear these kind of colors because I just, my skin is so close to the same color. But yeah, I really like them. Out of the beads, 
Oh, and we have these beads. Out of the beads, the one that I probably could do without. I'm probably gonna say these rondelles here. Those are gonna be harder for me to use just cause like my brain just, glass always is difficult for me. But I actually, I think it's a wonderful little kit you got. And I love that these gold veil beads are in there cause you can make a dangle from them. Like, wouldn't it be cool to have maybe this with some of, this is the peach, dyed peach quartz. This is some of the Hessenite just to add a little sparkle and then use, you got four of those, but I could do three little dangles off here. Or you could, um, what else? Can you see over here? I don't know. Yeah, you can. Okay. I just, my camera is backwards because I got a better, you guys got you better in. These I definitely will make earrings out of. I don't know if I'll do like a tutorial with them. That's too bleh. But maybe, oh, you know what? I could use that with that. So that'll be an earring. And then um, it needs, I wonder, I'll either use Oh, I could use this maybe. Maybe some of those and some of these to make a nice little earring. Because these look like, um, what is that? Pomegranate. These kind of look like pomegranates. And with a little, with a little top of a crystal and then have them hang from these. That would be pretty. So I do think there's lots of possibilities. I am not the most, um, colors inspire me to make things. This I will probably put on a bracelet. And I think that, a bracelet out of that with those, and maybe a couple of these. So I think there's good possibilities. So I'm pretty happy it was worth, to me it was well worth it. I will make my $20 back with a couple pair of earrings that I can sell, and then the rest I can add to my stashes and use as I, I need them. So that's really why I do this. One, um, it gives me, it pushes me to buy things or have things that I would never buy. Cause I, I would buy these always just because I like them. That's a pink color. Um, so that's the strawberry quartz. These are the rodenite I buy. I might buy these quartz just because they're a great size and kind of neutral. Definitely buy the Hessenite. Um, and these I have tons of, but I would still probably purchase them. I would never use them with gold. So to me, that's cool. That'll be cool to have. And I would not buy these cause they're in gold, but that'll be fun to have. So it does push me out of my comfort zone. And I did get an extra package of, um, the 14 karat gold. What do they call it? No, 18 karat gold plated brass bead caps. I did get an extra one of them, but I did not get the freshwater shell links unless that's what these are. Shall we look at the list? Number 15. So no, those say 16. So yeah, they just are mislabeled, but I did get everything. I just got an extra package in the wrong label. So that's cool. And I could, if I was missing something, I would contact them and they'll send it out. They were, they do it great. One thing I do like is that they sent me some brass crimp beads that are in the gold so I can use them. And with this Cortana chain, you can use a crimp on it. You just um, flap crimp it so that there's an end. And then you hide that in your in your bead tips. So you, I can definitely use that too. That would be fun. You know what? It would be fun. This is probably what I'll do. I'll probably put these on here. Hang them like that since they're already made. Oh no, those are double. Those are connectors. So no, never mind. That won't work. I will make my own connector dangles. Um, probably with some of these and I'm going to make a necklace out of that a gold necklace and hang and that will 
I don't know, I'll probably put it online for $18 and it will sell. And that'll be cool. I'll have that. So I do think it's always worth it. I don't have a personal code with them. I've never asked for one. But um, I do think it's worth it to get. And it's fun. Like I said, it pushes me out of my um, comfort zone. So this is the August one. If you go to Beadbox Bargains, they'll have the extra um, set of this. And I think it's $29.99. I still would... I often will go and buy just another one. If you don't have much gold, um, gold sells really well in the fall anyway. And there are lots of people that that's what they want. So I do think it's worth it to get that. Plus you get the findings and stuff and I like that. So I would definitely recommend it today. If for nothing else, the um, natural beads that they sent. These pink rhodonites, oh, rhodonite is usually pink, but these, are very nice quality they're not pink pink they're more of a peachy pink they're more like a ballet pink but they're very nice quality they don't have a lot of black in them so that'll be fun so have a great day um i will put the link to beatbox bargain in there if i can um if i think about it otherwise leave a comment which was your favorite piece and what you would make with it below and then um if I make some stuff, I probably won't. I'll probably just do a short that shows the different stuff I made with it, and I'll label that. So you can watch for that. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Ooh, I knocked the camera.